Next up is spinal mobility. This is a great warm up just to do anytime. You could do it seated at your desk or do it before or after exercise. Spine starts at your neck. So looking with head and neck over each shoulder and notice that each time I go, I'm going a little further and then actually even beginning to rotate through the shoulders. Now taking that a little further. So I started with the neck. Now I'm at middle back, lower back. And using the arm on the leg as leverage at the end, tilting the hat to the side. So first we were with rotation. Now we're doing just lateral flexion. Drop your ear toward the alternate shoulder and notice that I'm not lifting my shoulders up and you have to focus on that. Gentle encouragement with an arm. So I am including the stretch, bringing the hand on the head to the side and the opposite shoulder reaches down. So watch here as you're looking at the long arm reaching to the floor, that's actively stretching down just to increase the stretch between the muscles in the neck and the shoulder. Then I'm going to take the chin toward the chest and as you lift up, I want you to really lengthen the neck forward so you're not just dropping the head back. So if there's any crunching in the back of your neck, you want to be careful about that and lift forward. Now I'm tilting forward at 45 degrees, dropping my chin to my chest, and then just giving a gentle nudge with my hand on the back of my head. Great stretch for those upper back and neck muscles that gain a lot of tension, especially in females for some reason. But if you are a male sitting at a desk, this also applies to you. So just be gentle. It is your neck. The cervical spine there are small. So you're just gently encouraging. Don't overdo that. Now you're going to roll from the top of your head. Think of each piece of your vertebra rolling one at a time. And if you need to, you can use the base of your chair or the legs of your chair for support. Let yourself hang down just briefly, and then you'll slowly roll up from the lower back to the middle back to the upper back, drawing the shoulders back, and sit up nice and straight for the very end. And repeat that a couple of times. And that one also should feel good to you. Just go as far as it does feel good and stop when you need to. So taking the rotation just a little further and uniquely different. So notice that I'm rotating my body but I'm leaving my head and face forward and there are certain movements in life and in different activities we do that require that. So change what you're doing sometimes. Now, doing a lateral stretch, so I'm using the chair for support. If you have arms on your chair, even better. But lifting up, and then you have the option here. You can see that I looked up at the ceiling just in front of my arm. Now, if you have trouble with your neck, and it may be a day-to-day, -day, I slept wrong on my pillow kind of a feeling. But if you can look up, go ahead and try and do that, keeping that range of motion and mobility in the neck. Now, standing at the wall, we're going to do another spinal mobility stretch here, just rotating under. So if you can imagine a clock, my hands both start at 12 o'clock, and then I'm threading the needle with one arm coming through to either 3 o'clock or 9 o'clock, and then alternating. There is no right or wrong way to do this. So watch through my hips right across the back of my shirt where it meets my pants. Let your hips rotate if they want.